It's all kicking off in the China end. So today's game is China versus Sport. Uh, just walking around the Tesco's car park <laughs> to meet up with the minivan that we've got booked up. Uh, there's 10 of us going down there today. I say going down there, it's up. It's, uh, it's about just under 200 kilometers uh, north of Bangkok where we're going today. All right, there's the minivan. Uh, the guys are slowly arriving. So uh, we're gonna head off shortly to China. I think we're about an hour away from China now. Uh, we just stopped for our second ice slash uh, pee break. This is a very rural motorway services we've pulled up on here. It's the other side of this bush. We have arrived in China, we've just pulled up at a restaurant, uh, we've got quite a bit of time to kick off so we're going to have a couple of drinks and some food here uh, and make our way over to the restaurant a bit later. Uh, this restaurant's kind of in the middle of nowhere and I don't think the owner knows what, uh, what's about to hit up. Right, predictions today, round the table. China nil, Port FC 2. Port two, nil two. Win. 2 nil win. Tom. Or away, can't be having it. <laughs> <laughs> One old draw. Oh, Nick? 5 2 for Port. Whoa! Oh, hey, Ballsy. Ballsy. <laughs> Maka? 2 2. 2 oh, 2. 2 1. Toby. Paul, just. Just about. Just about. <laughs> Who's scoring the winner, Toby? <laughs> Don't put me on the spotlight. It, it, it'll be like a, it'll be like a 88th, 89th minute winner. Come on, Terence! Uh, that would be, that would be good. But I don't think. Uh, I'm going to go. China win. Oh. Oh. Now, why would you do that? Oh, oh, I, 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 like Tom, I think a bit shaky, and you can just see Cinema Pongal running off. Have you been drinking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I see. Well. Uh, Given your shit prediction, I say 4-1 port. Oh. Oh. Tim. I'm going 4-0. Port. I said, oh. I said oh. that at Tarot. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, right. We are gonna <laughs> absolutely boss the game. We're gonna score one goal in the first half, and it's gonna be frustratingly miserable one with one the, uh, not not and we're gonna score two more. Three nil. Oh, three oh, nil. Three nil. Well, that's two nil port. Jim. Two nil port. Right. We go on the window. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No? Okay. <laughs> your own. Right. That's the predictions in early before we have too many Leos. <laughs> before we get too many 5 2s going around the table. <laughs> Look at your music critic. Come <laughs> <laughs> This is Wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Me and me. Nice, fans over there. I've played a big They got Chang's hands. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> we're we're fucked out. All out. We're fucked, but we're That's not. That's the guy ruined. that went to the fence. There's no one here. Food and drink oh, zone. Is that fucking right? Oh, oh. Chang's oh. Boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we are at the Chinat Stadium. Uh, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what sort of crowd they're going to get. But um, I'm expecting a good view when I get inside. There's no running track and also quite a lot of mountains and stuff in the distance. Uh, hopefully some good shots once I get inside. No. Tonight, but uh, China have got Florence Cinema Pongol uh, in their ranks. Uh, Maybe remembered by some Liverpool fans, but probably not too fondly. Uh, so he's seeing out his career in Thailand, 
uh, like some players do, and yeah, he's uh, he's been pretty prolific for them actually the last couple of well, he was quite prolific for them last year. This year he's not really featured as much. So uh, I'll keep an eye out tonight for Mr. Cinema Pongo. Let's take a look inside the stadium. It's very pink. Played still nil nil. Uh, China just tested Brown Eye, the ball keeper with a free kick. Yeah, still nil nil. Great scenery here. Not many fans in the ground though, can't be said.
minutes to go. Our predictions looking good. minutes to go. I'm not holding out much hope of Paul getting back into this. Uh, not really close to China at too much danger at all in this second half. But if anything, China are looking more likely to get third. Time here from the Kaoplong Stadium, and it's 2 1 to China. I predicted 2 1 to China, we've seen them on goal to score. I didn't want to be right, but uh, that's how it's played out tonight. Pretty turgid performance from Port Away, uh, getting back to what I was used to last year. Uh, and that's that. Got a bad little stadium, nice scenery over the back there with the mountains. Uh, better get back to the minivan now because it's probably going to be about two or three hours back to Bangkok. Uh, so better, better hit the road. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. just got back from China about seven and a half months ago. I just thought I'd add this onto the end just to explain a bit more what was going on at the end there. So the foreign fans were a bit annoyed uh, losing to China. Uh, China were in the bottom three uh, at the time that match happened. Uh, and losing to China in such a manner sort of uh, annoyed everyone. So uh, social convention was completely broken and uh, Booze were raining down on the pool players. Now, uh, the next home game, uh, Port were at home to Chiang Rai. Uh, Chiang Rai were quite fancied, but actually, to everyone's surprise, uh, Port really got stuck in, uh, rolled their sleeves up, uh, ground out a 2 1 victory. And uh, after the game, the players again were doing their lap, and uh, Boscovich who looked very pissed off when he was getting booed uh, the other week, uh, then came over and recognised one of the guys and called him down. Uh, wasn't sure what was going to happen next, uh, but he said, oh, thanks, uh, thanks for booing us, uh, because I played in the Montenegrin league. Uh, that, you know, if I had a bad game in Montenegro, I'd get told to F off and do one, etc. So I uh, needed to kick up the arse, and he said it, it sort of scared the players into life as well. Uh, and then Port went on a five game winning streak after that or well, I think that win was one of the five games that they won uh, so it feels strange uh, to stand here and advocate booing your own players uh, but in this instance it actually had a positive effect uh, so that is the end of the video now uh, thanks for watching it's been the first one I've been able to uh, get uploaded for quite a long time uh, this match with China actually took place in April uh, but I've had a bit more free time recently and I'm starting to uh, work my way through the backlog so to speak uh, so hopefully we'll see a few more videos over the next month or so uh, thanks again for watching please like and subscribe uh, and I'll see you again soon